Break it. It's just... Who do you think you are? This just then. The world's on fire. We're all gonna die. You're dead. Boom! Kill yourself. Skrrr! Episode 23, my friends. <laughs> Let's redo that. I don't want that. You don't want that? Oh, damn it. I fucked it up. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Episode 23. 23. Hey, Pedro. How you doing, man? Pretty good. How's your week been? Kind of crazy. Really? But I'm going to get the elephant out of the room first. Fucking Noki, what are you doing here? That, number one. And then... His haircut looks really good, by the way. Thank you. I did it myself by paying for it. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> um... So there's some construction across the yonder. Uh, right before we started, I went over there and talked to them. I was like, hey, I know you you know the podcast. Who do you think you are? They're like, holy shit, Nick. Nick? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's, wow. that's me. I was like, can you keep it down with we're, the roofing right now? Because we're about to go live. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, you got it. You got it. We'll as, move- as soon as I walked away, I heard some pinche huetos and stuff like that. I think that means that it sounds good. They're yeah. like, let's go take lunch. It's like, yeah. So if there's <laughs> some weird... If there's like banging, yeah, like when you remember your older brother in his room and you're next door and he brings his girlfriend over and it's just this constant. Well, the socks on the door. They're looking for the other sock. Right. Yeah. That's what it is. So that's what it kind of sounds like. Yeah. If you hear that, it's, so anyways, it's, it's that. Apologies. Nah, apologies. No apologies needed. Um. Yeah. Well, what a week, man. Let Let's start with. <laughs> The Golden State, the, the land of oh. milk and honey, I learned is another name for California. Really? I like that. The How w- sad, w- dude. Which which part? Which which sad part should we start with? I'm talking with about fires. fires that's, that's still going on. Yeah. Um, what are you, what are you yeah, talking about? Northern and Southern northern California. Northern and Southern, right. It's crazy that northern one when it was spreading eight football fields a minute. That's intense. Yeah. That is so fucking crazy how wildfires dude, spread, dude. I know. How quickly they just fucking take over everything. And you know what it is. Smokey the Bear has been in retirement so for so fucking God, long. Why can't we get him back out here? Well, his kids were like, I don't want to do your fucking... You know, dad always yeah. wants to give it to their kids. The family like, business. I don't want the family business. Um, is it too soon? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, 48 people of debt are dead so far. Yeah, T- it's dozens terrible. missing. What's crazy is I heard like some of the people that are that are getting killed, they're like in their cars leaving. Like is, fuck, what a way to die. Yeah. Fucking driving away in these flames. That's just how I imagine like the apocalypse. You. Like it, it's, totally. It's like that's what that became for those people. Yeah, when you see those just getting fucking, distracted over here. Fucking weird Noki. Just seeing it, it. Yeah, like watching the videos. And I mean, it ha- like I feel like it was like, what, six months ago? There was a, that other fire in California. There's, and it's just not stopping. Right. It's spread and they don't even know where it's going. Just people of, I think it's 27,000 people are evacuated so far. Like 6,500 homes have been destroyed. Probably more now. It's insane. Dude. It is crazy. It's sad. I know. And then I've seen some people say like, also, I mean, obviously with people, but then think about all the, there's so many animals, animals too. Then like, yeah, you, I've you, seen, you see those pictures where you're like, why does that get to you more? Like, why does Because people are shitty? <laughs> that's true. But like <laughs> animals pure and like, maybe like they have no idea what's going on. They're just right. like, it was so this. sad. I saw this picture of like this giant fire down, like, uh, behind this Creek. Mm-hmm. And then it had like two reindeer or two deers or whatever it was. Yeah. And I was just like, dude, that is fucking sad that's an interesting point that you make because i saw a picture too where it's like a, a rabbit a fucking bunny rabbit yeah. and there's the flames behind him and like my heart like sunk but then when i watch houses to get destroyed and i see statistics like 48 people have died i'm just kind of like oh another amount of deaths you know right it's kind of weird it's fucking insane that we've been desensitized to that i think that it is what it what it is well, then take it back to the shootings. Like, how many fucking shootings have we had this year, dude? It's ridiculous. 309 in 311 days. That is fucking insane. Yeah. Also, like, what what are we doing? Like, what's causing this? Uh, maybe I, just so many people. Maybe there's too many people. Too many people? I don't know. Maybe. We're like, there's, you know? I get it. But... Too many crazies out there. Peace and love to all those people with the fire. Good luck. Yeah. Best. Best to you. So, 
You're a conspiracy theorist. Have you heard anything on? Yeah, this? there's there's a couple. There's a couple of them, um, right? I lo- and actually, that's funny that you bring this. Up. I looked up because I heard somebody at work. I was talking to about it, like Matt, uh-huh. who I was hoping was going to come on today, but he never reached out. So whatever. Um, he brought up a couple. And then, oh shit! So then that's this- why he was like, he, I can't remember who he told. He's like, yeah, Pete told me to come over Wednesday. Hmm. I'm like. Oh, weird. Well, anyway, he never texted me, so yeah, he never texted but me. But anyway, so this morning I like I looked it up to try to get some more traction on the points that he was making. I couldn't really find anything, right? Probably cause, I mean, it's it, they start with a campfire. It's pretty ridiculous, but the conspiracy is behind it, at least from him that I heard, which is kind of an interesting point. Is a lot of these times there's when the fires happen, there's a shooting or some kind of like political move to try to distract people. And then, you know, they engulf somewhere in fire. So, like, you look over here. You instead don't look of at Florida. The, yeah. You know, to and, the ballots. And, or, and I, what's, what's funny is one thing I did learn, because I didn't really, I didn't actually see any of this. I just heard that from him. Right. So, I didn't see any, like, people actually talking more in depth with that. But I saw one thing with, like, the pipe bombs, which we kind of forgot about, which a lot of people were saying it's, it was, like, a Democratic ploy. Because as the caravan was the Republican ploy to get people to the voter booth. The Democrats then got that out there to try to be like distract people from the caravan and try to see like that weird like this mm. blue wave is the enemy and try to be try to get people on their side now to get to the voting booth or it's that's like that's interesting. It, yeah, because you keep on seeing these like nationalists and these like right wingers shooting up the places and things like that. So they try to like be like these are the enemies. These are the people that Trump and his administration are creating. Right. Then the Trump administration's like the illegal immigrants are the people yeah. create. So this it's like caravan. these two sides. It's not great. It's, it's fucking insane. It's, it is pretty interesting because, I mean, it turned out that all those pipe bombs were decoys. Like there was, they never really went farther than that. Right. So I think it. And I think we brought the point up like why would, if it were true, like why would you reveal that? They wouldn't. To, yeah. And well, I think, I mean, I read I somewhere that it was like a false flag and yeah. I, I'm, I think it ended up being like, yeah, it was. And we just kind of pushed that under the rug and on to the next conspiracy, you know? Yeah. Just like we filtered through fucking news all yep. the time. So quickly. So then this fire, I'm not saying that somebody created the campfire to start the fire. We, we didn't start didn't the fire. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> um, but what happened to the shooting in California in Thousand Oaks? Yeah. 13 people got shot, 18 pinch people injured. Like, that was in and out of the news in one day. Right. U.S. Marine, PTSD, goes in there, smoke grenades, fucking college bar, and just starts yeah. fucking lighting the place up. People are, are in mounds, hiding under people's bodies, trying to play dead. Like, that's fucking gruesome, dude. That's yeah. fucking dark. What, what is there to be done about that, though? Like... I was at Obviously. a bar that day, and I was like, this is kind of weird. Is yeah. this weird that I'm at a bar Well, the that's the day? other thing, dude. You don't know where the fuck this is going to happen, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, everybody's just that balloon animal just getting poked at every day, and they're just waiting to pop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, like, regulations on guns isn't really controlling anything, because uh, everything that he had was illegal, right, in California. It was like, illegal? I, I'm not sure. I don't know. I didn't read into I didn't, it. I, yeah. But I mean, you can't carry a gun in California. You can't like, you know, the, the only way you can carry it if it's like your bullets and the the oh, okay. magazine are all separate oh, and gotcha. all of that. And it's, it's not right to carry state. Right. Gotcha. So regulations aren't doing anything. If we put regulations on, it's just going to cause more argument. Like, well, he had a stock on his gun. Stocks are illegal. Who the fuck cares? 13 people are dead, you know, or right. whatever. I'm piecing uh, shootings together, but... The funny thing about regulations is, you know, that moves so slowly in the government. It's all right. a fight for both ways. But you see corporations now are the ones that are like Walmart takes out uh, ARs or like cert- like Dick's Sporting Goods doesn't sell... A- so like they're doing like weird legislative takes in a way. Hmm. But it's a, it's a scary thing because it's just as scary as like Facebook and all these other companies being so big that they're almost above the government. I mean, back to, you know, Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg is that his name? Whatever. Yeah. Like in Marky the, Mark. Yeah. Like in the courtroom talking to government people about Facebook. Cause they're like, Oh, well, what do you, what do you know? Yeah. Like, and he's like, well, <laughs> what kind of technology are you uh, working with here? <laughs> yeah, dude, they don't, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's, that's, it's kind of crazy. Like, 
you know, we've always seen in history that like corporations are pocketing the government. So they pay, you know, because it takes millions, and millions of dollars to run. So they shell out the money. So they're like, hey, you remember that a couple of years ago when I gave you two hundred million dollars? Pass this legislation, bury it somewhere so then we can admit more, you know, emissions of gas or make plastic or import export. Like it's all so yeah. and now we're seeing that even more that like corporations are the government. They're running the country. And at, at what point is it going to come out of the government's hand? Or is it already? I mean, they're all just puppet masters, I guess. Yeah. And we're all the puppets. But I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't will have any suggestions. Will we see revolutions? Yeah. It's... Um, will we see... I don't know. I think with revolutions, it's it's too tricky now because the CIA has so many weapons that we aren't aware of <laughs> that if anybody wanted D-W's? to try... Or like, or like, I mean, we've talked about like sound waves and stuff like that before. Like, I mean, they could fuck us up at the drop of a hat. Like if they ever like, you know, got into anything where they'd be like, oh, this, you know, and actually this is kind of a good transition to, um, this thing. So I went kind of down this rabbit hole before you got here a little er- earlier this week. And what did you look up on Pornhub? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so it was called or- Operation Mockingbird, which is this thing that was in the 1950s. And funny how like a lot of these things are always started in the 50s, which is now it's coming out because that's kind of when technology and you know journalists kind of really started doing investigative journaling. But anyway, so they start, the CIA started this program in the 1950s, 1947 actually, and to fund these students to kind of like infiltrate the news media and start spreading propaganda and false, you know, just trying to control people. And they did that for 20 years until this magazine called Ramparts Magazine had basically, you know, one of those journalists that's like a diehard for the fucking truth. He exposed it and they're like, yeah, we were doing that. We like, we were, wi- <laughs> you got us. Yeah. We were wiretapping, tapping journalists. We were looking like we were, we were following and we were perpetrating false information to try to control the population. Hmm. So they were doing that for 20 years and then they stopped because a magazine, no, they didn't, they don't fucking stop. It's something that that's keep, that's going to oh, keep yeah. on, keep on happening. Oh yeah. You might get that one you know, guy that wants the truth or gal that wants the truth, that reporter, that journalist that's mm-hmm. looking for it. But that's like one out of 10, I feel. So like Michael Hastings, do you remember him? Uh-uh. So he was an investigative journalist. Like a, Sounds a, like an asshole. Like a, no, he was a good fucking oh, dude. Okay. He was an investigative journalist that was like diehard. He would take years for his stories. He wouldn't, you know, wasn't you know, clickbait and all that bullshit mm-hmm. or whatever. So um, he won awards. He had like a commander in the in the army lose his job. His last article before he died um, was called "Why Democrats Love to Spy on Americans." And so basically, so I'll get I guess since you're so he died in a car accident. Where yeah, because you air quoted that when well, when you said when yeah, he died. Yeah. <laughs> so he he was in his car going fast, skid into a tree. And Paul Walker a status. Huge explosion. Yeah, basically. Oh. And 12 hours before this, he emails his friends and associates and he's like, I'm onto a big story. I need to go under the radar for a little bit. And then he also says it may be wise to request like local consul before any like conversations or interviews with people. Cause he's like, I'm onto something big, hmm. you know, and you go back to like his last article before, like I just said, like Democrats love to spy on Americans. And so the, his whole death was crazy because around where he died, there was no skid marks. One of the few eyewitnesses said that they heard explosions before the car crashed. The engine ejected from the car and flew. Oh, there was a bomb in there. So that's that doesn't happen from a fucking tree. You skid and you and, T-bone a tree. And then two yeah, two years bad. later from WikiLeaks, it was called like what was it, Vault Seven, and it and it went on about the secret government and the CIA how basically they have the technology to remotely hijack cars and leave little to no evidence that anything was tampered with or that anybody's hands were on it. So like the whole thing is it's like, what, what was he about to report on? Like, what was he about to say? And how often does this happen with journalists? Which was my question. So then I looked up, then there's actually a committee to protect journalists hmm. and which, you know, that's a broad statement. It's a pretty blanket because all over the world, you know, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, going to that journalist or North Korea, obviously, if you tread on the wrong side, you're going to get killed. 
not to say that's right or wrong, right. so, but I'm just saying like this st- statistic isn't only from America. Yeah. Even though, I, you know, if it's happening in other places, I don't think that we're like on this pedestal that like we're above killing journalists or people that are throwing some We'd information like around that they don't want to see, yeah. you know? We'd like to portray that we are, but... So since 1992 to now, there's been 1,842 journalists that have been killed. Not died, killed. In crossfire and combat, and then 518 of those are unconfirmed deaths of like, I don't know what happened. We just, they died. Like, that's crazy. That is pretty... That's a lot of fucking people. (laughs) But there's only, and then there's only a fucking few brave soldiers that are the ones that are actually doing the investigating, like being like, you know, like Michael Hastings, he's like, I don't want them to, like, we're doing kind of practices that they're not, they don't like, or Julian Assange, or... You know, the WikiLeaks, all that, like, because mm. we are we don't approve that. But really, it's just some guy using the same fucking tactics that they're using. Yeah. Because they want to show the truth. What was his, uh, his name? S- Snowden? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Because they're leaking information they don't want out. It's going to keep on happening and keep on happening. Did you see the thing? It's not, like, as dark of a like a turn, but like Jim Acosta and I love CNN, like when he was interviewing and like in the press conference with Donald Trump and now CNN suing Donald Trump because basically they kicked him out for asking questions. And then he like had his one question and he's like, okay, sit down and take somebody else's question, but then he keeps on interrupting. Mm-hmm. And so now they, they took, you know, they took away his press which I actually agree with because if you watch the video, he's like way out of line, even though Donald Trump, you know, he's, you know, if, if you're, it's like the top, the people that are top are going to like, you know, have the same habits of the people underneath you, you know, like you're going to act the same way. If somebody's talking bad with you, you're quick to be snappy right, with them. Right, right. So he was in a way doing that and just trying to be like, you're not answering my questions, answering the yeah. question, then trying to like be like that. But at the same time, it's like, dude, you're a journalist. He's the president. Like, Back off. Back off a little bit. Like, because now you're making CNN look like shit. Right. You know, and I mean, that's what's so funny about like this whole like conspiracy twist on it. It's like, I started looking at that and I'm like, conspiracy is just a word to try to cover up, to try to make people look crazy rather than being like, because, you know, the Republicans on Fox News are crazy. The people on CNN are fucking crazy. Like suing the president because you're trying to interrupt him. I mean, I don't know. I don't think you're going to get far with that one. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> or maybe what, who knows? I don't yeah. know, man. We're in a sad, sad world. Sad, <laughs> sad yeah, folks. Sad, sad world, folks. Oh man. Back to California, or I don't know if you have another. No, trip. go for it. There was another thing I saw in National Geographic, which is kind of cool, and it was a there's a bubbling put uh, bubbling mud just like moving twenty feet a year, and scientists have no idea why what it is, how to stop it, or anything. How long has it been moving? All I know is, is that it's gone 24,000 square feet and it just destroys the earth as it moves, just like... It's like ooze? It, yeah, just like bubbly mud. Where's like, it coming from? They have no idea. They're, like, they're, I guess there's one, I think it was in India or something like that. And But that's like, vol- like volcanoes mm-hmm. and stuff, so it's a little, it's like kind of off of... That so it's probably like bubbling from the earth from that so maybe like heats heating up soil then through like carbon monoxide or something maybe like twisting and kind of like making it a sludge. You're a fucking genius. You did it. Doing, you figured it out. You figured it. out what these guys. Can hey, do. so if I die in a car accident, <laughs> <laughs> but is, that well, is pretty scary. Like that, that just goes you, into is that. Is it contained? Like no, they, because they don't know how to stop it or what to do with it. So does it it's destroy like, everything? Yeah, so it's path? like destroying train like, tracks and like metal and shit. Yeah. Ooh. That's but what's, what's crazy is like 24,000 square feet is a lot. And in California, like, I mean, I mean, but we don't ever really hear about that because we have so much other shit always happening. Yeah. And also because they don't want to go on the news like, hey, everybody, good evening. So on top of everything on that t- we're going. On top of we have no fucking idea what's happening in this world and I hope you shit yourself to sleep. There's this ooze yeah. that's going to come and. Like we never really want to report on things that we don't know or try to have a side or like that will. Help help our blue or red team in a Global way. Global warming, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's like the on that same article, it was kind of going into NASA scientists, how they saw this iceberg breaking off 
It's like three times the size of so Manhattan. Yeah, Manhattan. And I mean, that's happening all the time. And you're always like, new iceberg breaks off that's like the size of Montana and shit. And you're just like, oh, okay. And then just kind of move on to yeah. a shooting. But or that's move a massive on to, ice- But that's a massive, <laughs> massive thing. And then you see people that are still like, I don't know about global warming. It's like, well, okay. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. Well, I mean, like, okay, just throw the term aside then. Say, okay, it's not global warming. Just look at the fact that icebergs and shit are breaking off. The sea levels are rising. It's swallowing Earth. We have mud covering things. More fires than ever. Purposefully started, maybe? Let's move to California. Purposely started. Yeah, maybe. I mean, there probably has been a couple that way or something. But also with, like, campfires, what kind of fucking idiot? It's like, what are you doing to start a fire like that? I kind of went into this little rabbit hole. Where it was talking about how it was, all the fires were like perfect. It was like, had a picture of like all the houses that burned down in the fi- in the forest around it. Mm-hmm. And it said, oh, the only forest fire that didn't burn down the forest. Because like it was still green in between these oh, houses. that's one like, thing that he was telling me. It's yeah. all these houses that were just completely obliterated, you know, by this fire. But all the green vegetation around it is still... Yeah, that's like, right. That's yeah. right. So there's also something with like uh, this um, utility uh, company that they cranked up the meters or something mm-hmm. like that and they blasted. <laughs> it, it's wow. just... Yeah, I don't know. Back to... Who knows what to believe? Back though, to you know? brother Jesse, follow the money. Follow the and money. And you know, now that you say that... That it's so, yeah, when you look at those videos, you just see the house is crumbling. And I know that Donald Trump said something like, we'll take money out of the federal whatever to pay for this. Like, think about if you're going to follow the money, who's going to make a lot of money from this? The, like, insurance companies off of houses and, I mean, are you think that they're above killing people or no. like this? Like, no, no, not even a little bit. No. <laughs> yeah. We're the same as we're evil, yeah. sick humans. Sad, sad world. But yeah, and then, like, let's go back to the shooting again, because, like, that's the thing, like, so 13 so people, it's like on. a dude with PTSD, and there's, there's like, some of the, did you hear, like, one of the kids was, he was at the Vegas shooting, too? Oh, and that's when he died? No, he, like. No, he died at, the, at this shooting. No, he survived, I think he survived that one, too. And God like, damn, dude. It's like, what kind of Final Destination bullshit are you a part of? It's like 4D, dude. Right? Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Cra- yeah, that's crazy. And what's it with country music? <laughs> you know? Yeah, these country bars. Oh, man. It's fucking so weird. Well, fucking KCL Jones. Okay. He was uh, playing a video game online, and, and he lost. And he started raging at his monitor and, like, picked it up through it. He goes and picks up his guns and starts firing them inside his home. Jesus. Over a fucking video game, dude. Like... It's fucking ridiculous. Well, that happened in Florida, too, with that one shooting at that other game convention, too, right? Oh, really? I don't know. Yeah. Well, at least he didn't go on a fucking rampage. Oh, he just shot all he over He just shot house. all over his house, and one of those did go through a window and into the neighbors. Oh. But I don't think anybody was hurt. What but still, I? like, how, uh, how out of control of your emotions and anger, like... That's like these yeah. tightly wound people that are those balloon animals getting poked, poked and just fucking poked, waiting yeah. to blow up, man. That's I think there's a problem with I th- we've talked about it before um mislabeling uh a mental illness mm-hmm. or you know a mental disorder. Yeah. Or people just need to fucking talk sometimes, dude. Therapy, yeah. be I mean this has helped me through right. some of my feelings, like doing this, because uh-huh. I do check myself. We do analyze, uh, and just talking to somebody helps. And some of these people, I guess, have nobody to talk to. Or, or you just say you're depressed and you get prescribed the pill, or right. you're anxious, you so get ADHD right. medicine. Is that, or, that's the easy. It's yeah. Easy it's way like out. okay, well, what are you doing? Are you talking to somebody? Are you exercising? Are you eating good? Are you right. sleeping? Are you playing video games for twelve hours a day and talking shit to people constantly? Yeah, like suck my dick, suck my dick, fuck you, bitch, like fuck yeah. your mom, like you're a little twelve year old. <laughs> yeah, it's like right. no, I'm ten. <laughs> 
But it, and you also see in the news all the time, like those like six year olds that like shoot their mom in the head because oh, they won't yeah. let them play video. Because like, that's like literally in the news, like at, almost once. Not a too week. long ago, this little eleven year old shot his grandma and then killed himself. <sighs> And the grandpa just walked in on it? Fuck, dude. Or I guess, no, they were, like, sitting on the couch, and then the little kid comes up from behind and shoots his grandma, and then the grandpa chases him around get, trying to get the gun, and then he fucking forgets. He runs off somewhere, the kid, and he, the grandpa goes back to the grandma and, you know, checks on her. Obviously, yeah. she's dead. And then I think the kid killed himself, too. And I'm not anti-gun in any no, way, No, neither am I. And it's funny. I actually talked, and I'm like, I don't know, like, how to... Put them under. Uh, I was talking to somebody the other day, and uh, the guns things came up, and he, it kind of just like hit with him because he had like a crazy fucking story. He's like, you know, I think everybody needs the right to have the guns or whatever. He's talking about his stepdaughter, how she's like seventeen and like into drugs, heroin, had this crazy relationship with you know a guy, and when she broke up with him, he's like, don't you if you I can't have you, nobody can have you. And, like, later that night, fucking, Psychopath. fucking sh- uh, drive-by uh, on their house, he wakes up and, like, to, gu- like, to gunshots, goes outside, car, car comes back. And, and then six times, back and forth, they find 37 casings in the house from, like, a 17-year-old. And he, ha- you know, has his AR ready, his wife right. strapped to be, like, for protection because it took... The- the cops 22 minutes to get there over gunfire. I mean, where was this? I'm not sure what yeah. part of Arizona it was, but I mean, that's cra- like probably in the ghetto. Yeah, but I mean, what, does that mean you shouldn't have a gun or? Oh no, I mean, not at all. or even then, because then if you can't have a gun, because obviously he bought his gun legally, then you have you're fighting people that illegally have guns. Like right. people are always going to have guns. Yeah, you at can. this point that they're they're created, you know. Yeah, and if you try to disarm. That's never going to happen. Remember the 3D gun? Did you see that? Like with 3D printers? 3D printers are crazy. I've been like looked up into those for a while. Yeah, they but, are insane. Though. But they that's going to be the future. Create. Like my computer's missing this piece. Like oh, Amazon.com, yeah. print out this piece and then $70 they'll print out. Yeah. But like, that dude that was selling all those different gun mods to like create guns off of it. Oh, really? You never saw that? Yeah, yeah it's that. crazy. Like so basically he would put it out for free because he was a like, huge like NRA dude and he's like, Here's like the here's the here's what you the need. download yeah. thing. Just push this button. You can oh, like you have a gun. format. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's like kind of a weird like I don't know, probably binary numbers going to okay and prints out a gun and then it prints out again. Yeah, yeah. But we'll always. I mean, there's just there's no escaping it at I this don't point. Think so. And but you can make a gun out of a fucking pipe. You know. Yeah, you can, that's true. Yeah. Or you start using, I mean, if someone wants to kill or go on a rampage, you're like, no, they'll do something. So I guess, yeah, it goes to mental health and trying to address people that, you know, going back to California shit again, like a uh, U.S. Marine served our country, comes back, has PTSD. I mean, obviously he wasn't taken care of or they weren't, you know. Yeah, a lot of it's not. Uh, but is that on them too? Like how... How do we also figure that out? Like the kid that is yeah, depressed. Yeah, what are the like, statistics on them wanting to get this help? Yeah. I and mean, also, like, there's a pride to, yeah. like, you know, serving your country, mm. coming back normal. You're or, right. You know, there's that ego base, too, that they deal with. Like, if I reach out to get help, you know, I look weak or I'm vulnerable. I mean, whatever. depression's the same thing, too, though. But people are kind of glorifying it now, too, in a really stupid way, you know, with like kind of like emo rap culture and some yeah. of that shit. Um, but I mean, depression is, I mean, cause but it's also that same thing of how do you tell somebody? Like I was manically depressed for a good, like 15 years of my life. And people were always telling me the same shit we're talking about on here. True. But I was kind of like, Oh, fuck off. Or this is who I am, I guess. Or this is Accepting how. Accepting it. Um, I, yeah. I don't know. It's a tricky thing, but I feel like. But how much that, more was ego involved back then? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's all ego, right? Right. Too. I mean, that's the... That's a controlling... That's the Marine coming back and wanting to be like, I'm a soldier. I don't, I'm not... Yeah. Faltering. I don't know. But it also, I think sometimes with those guys, I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I feel like sometimes they go out because they're so fed up. Like, 
They serve their country and they're like, now I serve my country. What the fuck's this country coming to? Because when they, I think a lot of times like they're going on a shooting spree. There's something in their brain that's telling them, obviously, like, this is the right thing to do. Right? Because I don't think they're like going into a blind thing like, you know what? Or, I'm just going to go shoot up a, a church. No, or a they're obviously or, trying to or make a, a gay club, club in Florida. Like there's yeah, got to be some part that they're like. There's a statement to it. So what is it? What? I mean. I don't think it, we, we ever see it because it just gets. Covered up. Covered up with news and, and alleged stories. Or another or, shooting happens. Or another shooting happens. Uh, you know, we still don't have an answer to why the guy shot up. Vegas. One of the, yeah, what was it that you said to me that it could have been like a gun deal gone wrong? Or yeah, th- yeah. There's some people that are saying like he might have been a gun runner, and then that was because there, there were like a lot of eyewitnesses said there was multiple shooters everywhere. Yeah. And then if you watch certain videos, you see like flash. And the whole yeah. story is crazy. He right. smashed like a 600 hurricane proof window with a hammer, and then he shot like rounds for an hour and like. Like, there's soldiers and stuff like that. Like, he was out of shape. You can't... Like, it's exhausting to not stop doing that. Yeah. And then, obviously, he's killed before they can take him into questioning or any of that kind of stuff. But they never... Like, they just classified it as... Like... Well, it's a shooting. It was a shooting. They never... They, they never had an answer to why. Like, that's insane to me. That they never have, like, a clear cut... Be like, this guy did this because... Like, why is there nobody... Going into that. Yeah. Well, they killed him. That's why. They yeah. They question him. But still, like... Even what? if they did question him, like, what would we get out of the story? Right. What would we get out of what he said? I think it'd be a manipulated statement um, to portray the left or the right or yeah. whatever. Well, yeah, that's true, too. Whatever they would end up saying would be something to control us. Right. But the fact they don't even fucking say anything and we accept that... Yeah. We should we shouldn't accept that as like they're putting the blinders on. Us. Right, but because nobody's asking the hard hitting questions. That's but what I'm saying. who do you Revolution. think we are? We go there. We go there, bitches. So if you, oh, fuck, damn it, I'm trying, to, <laughs> I'm trying to not use that word. We go there, bitches. <laughs> it's a good tagline, though. It is. It's, it is a good. Oh, dude, if you put bitches or bitch after anything, <laughs> it's great. Who do you think we are? We go there, bitches. We go there, bitches. That's a good... Yeah, I like that. It's going to be the caption. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you got to take care of your head, man. Yeah, sad. <laughs> Another sad world. An even more sad world where he brought this entertainment and this life mm-hmm. of of um, positivity. But I don't know. He, he always, was ashamed of it when he was younger. Yeah, because he was like... There's uh, soldiers, people dying, and I'm just creating little cartoons. Yeah. No, man. He, he gave life to a whole... Uh, generation of people, or like not generation, but like group. He was know? socially ahead too, right? He had like the first like black comic. Like there, I think there's like certain kind of like biracial relationships, mm-hmm. like homosexual relate, all kinds of things floating throughout his comics. Which in his time was, you know, and his death was sad. But like when somebody first told me that, I was like, what was it like ninety two? And he was ninety five. Like he had a yeah. great life. Oh yeah. I mean, the fact that he was ninety five. And still starring, like not star, starring in his movies. He was every one of them. He yeah. was under like he, he actually he played was under, Batman. Yeah, he played Batman, <laughs> Doctor Strange. He was Black Panther. He did yeah. all of his own stunts of too. I mean, that was crazy. Yeah, no, but he was ninety five. Like what he a good was, man. <laughs> he still made like those cameo appearance, you know, and all, right. and all of his yeah, movies. Yeah, like, yeah. The fact that he was ninety five and still doing that, and he would go to like Comic Con and shit. Right, which is that's he cool. loved that shit. That, that was yeah. his shit. But and nobody's going to do better than that's him. That's a beautiful, you know, that was a great thing of art, you know, like you said. And so, rest in peace, my man. All right, peace, Dan Lee. Uh, maybe bring out Guardians of the Galaxy 3 a little bit sooner. Maybe <laughs> Infinity War 2, you could bring that out Yeah, what out is going to come out uh, after his death now? Because uh, I'm sure he, he was still working on it. I'm, do you th- ever stop? I mean, I think, uh, like... As a air quote writer myself, I don't think I'll ever stop writing, you know? Yeah, I don't think he... Yeah, that's I, interesting. I don't know what he's like... What was he working on before he died? Hmm. And is there a possibility that somebody's going to take it over or or finish it? I, or like the Bourdain. Bourdain died and there was still all these episodes without his name. Right. Narrow, I'm, sh- you know? I'm sure there's some... Yeah. 95, I'm sure there's a lot of shit that they can like kind of uncover. But at the same point, let something die... 
True. Let something yeah, let's die, let man. Let it go. We can't, like, we never do that anymore. You know, Siri, House of Cards, oh, fucking six seasons, you know, and it just like. It's like, oh, this. Uh, the Office. Hopefully nobody knows this is Nine, like ten seasons, guy. like, with Steve Carell left. That's yeah. fucking dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Seven season. I mean, just like. Don't watch past that. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, for like something that was like, and that's the problem because like something can be so great, mm-hmm. and then the backwash of it is like, all right. Then you get so tired of it too, and you're like, all right. But it can also be good. So yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, The Office was one of those shows. Like how it started as a normal work office, mm-hmm. and then how far can you take that concept? To keep it interesting. Like, exactly. you got to make it outrageous in a way. Well, yeah, that's you know? true. I guess that's what they had to do. Yeah. But that's what w- the first couple seasons were so good because it was so relatable that it wasn't so, like, ridiculous. Right. Like, it was the stupid little jokes with just, like, the, like the accounting guy or, like, yeah. or was, like the temp. <laughs> and, it, like, that's not even a good joke, but it was funny because right. you work in your own place. And you're like, oh, that's, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he's a fucking temp. Yeah, that was or, such a fucking yeah. good show. I do. I did love that show. Rewatched it many, many times. Wasted a lot of time rewatching too much, that show. <laughs> too much time. And actually, my si- my sister is going to be on here next week, you know, for the pre Thanksgiving or whatever. And I want to get into. The- I'm going to do a little bit of like digging up on like, the science behind like rewatching things and just try to figure out why the fuck you want to keep on. Re- I like, think it's a comfort. Totally. It's, yeah. But it's I think definitely. that's bad for you. I think like that c- constant comfort food. Is bad for you. Well, I mean, it comes down to like what we ingest. Also, uh, Gilmore Girls cups right here. You it? are the Lorelei to my Sookie. I don't know what Sookie is, but I know Lorelei is in there. Shout I always out use Gilmore her, Girls. I always use her cups because they're big. So yeah. I can get two cups of coffee. In there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man! So uh, mm-hmm. we got one. Oh, wow. <laughs> this just in. Let's see if it's let's see if it's good. Uh, well, what happened? I lost it. Oh, it just takes you to the. It shouldn't. I don't know. Oh, this is a fail segment. Yeah, I know. Oh well. Whoa. Well, What's that? Did you hear that? The Chapo's Day in Court. Yeah, they closed down like all the bridges leading to New York. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, bro, for his trial. Huh? Because they don't want him to escape. Escape. Let him escape, man. Let him do it. Be like a you know he offered to pay off Mexico's debt if they would let him free. Really? Yeah. Like that's how much fucking money Damn. he has, dude. That's crazy. It is insane. <laughs> that's crazy. Anyway, that that's a failed segment, we should say, right? Or I don't know. Well, sometimes when the alerts come up, I feel like I don't know why that one didn't work. This is a breaking news segment. I say we just kind of like sandbag them till the end. You and me, we go through all of our kind of like shit that we've thought about talking about. And then as we wrap up, we sort of see if any of those are like are interesting. We did that last time, I okay. think. Seemed to kind of work. But I don't know why that time it didn't even come up. Oh, well. Oh, well. So now it's called the Doggy Style News Update. Doggy Style News Update because it's, it's on at the, the end. Woo! I'm digging it. Woo! No, can like, you doggy bark? Sti- he said Doggy uh, Style what? He's on a CBD bone right now. He's Is he? chilling. We got a fucking stoner dog. Um, yeah. One thing I did this week. What'd you do? Let's get a little happy for a second. Um, I was, it was last Thursday, ran some errands on my way home, didn't have anything to do. And I was just, you know, I didn't want to just go home and I didn't have anything to do. Hmm. So I've always wanted to go to the music instrument museum. Always wanted to go. When'd you go? Third, last Thursday. Last Thursday. So I'm driving and actually drive past it. I'm like, next time. I don't, like, whatever. And don't we always say that? And then I U-turn, and I go, I park, and then I see three school buses, and I'm like, fuck, I hope they're just, like, waiting here to, like, go to the schools, maybe they're close by or something. Walk inside, 50 to 100 fucking screaming kids, and shit, I'm like, god damn it, because, like, I, I kind of, like, finally was like, okay, I'm fucking doing this, I'm yeah. gonna go in. Kids, I, I turn away, start walking to my car, <laughs> it's a nice beep. Okay. I walk in my car, I hear that sound. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm, I keep on, I'm like almost there. I'm like, like fuck, dude, I'm, I'm doing it. Whatever. I'm going to at least see if they're leaving or if they're just getting there. Because it was like 2 o'clock. Gotcha. So I go to the person at the desk. They're like, she's like, they're just leaving. So it's the perfect time to go. And I'm like, hell yeah. You do like the eyebrow sweat. 
Totally. I was so relieved Whew. because I was like, I don't want to be around a little fucking lot of shit yeah. kids. You also, know? it's a silent museum. And if there's yeah. like... Kind of. Well, you have headphones on. Right. So like it, there's a lot of music constantly playing. So it's almost better by yourself too. True. Because a lot of it you'll... Have you, have you gone before? Yeah, I've gone. So, and it's funny. There's like old couples that are like talking over their yeah. headphones. <laughs> it's like, hey, did you see that? <laughs> That's, I was wondering what that was going to sound like. Yeah. <laughs> But fuck, dude, what an amazing, amazing experience. It is truly an amazing uh, like, museum, dude. It just, I was so wrapped up and just like, you just feel, you feel the culture and the love and just all the years of, like, making music's in our fucking DNA. Like, there's yeah. these people that are, like, using the jawbones of horses. It and, brings us joy. Yeah, like, playing through shitty flutes, like, making really, I mean... Sorry, shitty kind of weird sounds, but they're having the time of their life. Oh, that's yeah. all they need, and like yeah. just that little bit, they're dancing and community and just a, you know, it's a stick and a, a coconut hollowed out and a string over it that they're plucking, you know. And it's to them, it's I mean, I I I fucking love that. Like that was handmade. Like that's yeah. And you see, is like so much know, love. Sixty, seven year olds like playing, and it's like you see the concentration on their face of like. The coconut. Yeah, for those that don't know, it's a musical instrument museum that um, you put headphones on and you walk up to the station or whatever, and it's I don't know, say from Brazil or something. Mm -hmm. They they should they display the instruments and and then there's like a video you can you can watch, right? Uh, Yeah, right. That'll show them playing the instrument, and then you get the sound in your headphones. It's really neat. Yeah, Um, it's cool to see too how like you know immigrants from other countries how they bring these traditions with you. And then, you know, with this whole cultural appropriation and uprage and everything these, you know, that we always are talking about, it's like, I mean, it's, it's a thing of trying to cherish it and try what to can we do? morph it into our own culture. It's like, you know, like the accordion, for example, was from Italy, but I always think instantly Mexico. Or Sweden. Or, yeah. I mean, it's probably starting, it, like, it's just like this traveling thing yeah. of like, consciousness and learning and like love and yeah they, joy everybody brings their own little yeah. spice to the same instrument i guess yeah be, or a similar instrument it was cool and i just was like I, w- I felt super happy too to like like a proud musician in a way too like it feels cool to like do something so like outside the realm of you know like you see these people in these villages and you know then you <sighs> see these people playing piano in these huge theaters and it's like all the or even just the people walking around the museum like we're all just so like kind of engulfed in it because if if it's done properly like there's a feeling to it it's like an unspoken truth of love joy depression angst yeah it's intended for that yeah sometimes you know it's it's a reaction i think everything we do what we do for a reaction or um i don't know music just another thing Mm -hmm. i it make music makes me happy dude and like I don't listen to a whole lot of new music. I've I've noticed I've started listening to a lot of like just classical instrumental music, you know. Hmm. Uh, also, like I'll do a lot of underground rap, oh. like shit that's like pretty bad, you know. That says mm-hmm. fuck this, fuck that, but you know, it's a meaning. There's not just cars, bitches, hoes, and money, right? Uh, and it's not like the SoundCloud rapper trash that we've. Uh, oh Jesus! I can't wait for their booth at the Music Instrument Museum. Oh God, <laughs> dude! Imagine like in the future, this is another musical instrument museum, and it's like this is a soundboard, and it's just, right. I mean, but I mean that is that is a, it will be there. Yeah, but there's definitely people that are good at that. You know, like not. I mean, there are good SoundCloud rappers. But like there are people that start off like, but like That's the true. the trash, shit. like mumble, <laughs> like mumble rap. Like they won't. Yeah. They definitely won't have a booth. There, little Zan will, because he's like so talented, there, yeah. so good, so 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 good. Yeah. Into like weird, like my boy, I must go off on that, like with conspiracies again, because why not? If Post Malone dies, supposedly like he's he's next on the. Yeah, didn't he like list. check out this fucking black box or something that he was? Oh shit! Really? Yeah, like he opened this thing and he's like, it's, he's been he almost died like twice. Since, oh damn! Since doing something. really? Yeah. Dude, like some holy haunted. shit, you're right. And that fucking plane crash where there was an emergency landing. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I, didn't even I just think, overheard. I didn't even think about it. I didn't it. even look into it. I just overheard somebody talking about it. Well, then like going into like, so basically there's a dark side of like hip hop or like the Illuminati right. being controlled. And some people even say like the CIA perpetrated rap to kind of like 
sell gangs and violence and drugs to like low income neighborhoods and, and whatnot. But also there's a part of like, you know, that soldier that gets out of the, you know, from the dirt up to the top, you know, like Jay-Z or like some of those people. Right. And, or your Kanye or whatever. And Started from the bottom nowhere. Exactly. Yeah. But <laughs> suppose, well, if you trace through it, there's weird deaths and like surrounding all of them. And there's always like, so supposedly, air quotes, there's like some kind of deal that you make with them. They're like, we can sell you this and we can get you to this level. Right. But you have to go away from a while and somebody close to you is going to die. We're not going to tell you who, why, or when. But if you follow in Hollywood and hip hop, everybody has really, really fucking strange deaths and nobody knows, nobody knows why. That's weird. And like, so like Mac Miller, for example, his toxo- toxology reports came back. Very little of anything came up. They couldn't really trace anything. And then, but so then what, what happens on the flip side of that? Ariana Grande is like the hugest superstar right now. Okay. And then you're, so you see like, oh, well, she was super close to him. Was that, that's something that she had to like sacrifice to move up in the bloodline. Uh, Kanye's mom died, like was killed or right. something. Like I'll, there's always this weird like trail of that, why uh, or. XXX to, uh, what's his name? Yeah. But I don't know, I can't, I don't never really got into him, but yeah. something weird with him too, right? Yeah, but like he, yeah, his, he, wasn't he calling out like Drake or Kanye, one of the two, and he was like, I don't know. Who I don't know either. I don't like, to. I don't know too much about, I'm just saying it's weird. It just feels like, like if there's a, I don't it's know. It's a conspiracy. I, it's like that. Well, just like it just feels like there's a lot of unanswered questions a lot of the time. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, oh, another fentanyl death or another that like it's just there's too many strange reoccurrences yeah. for it not to be like a pattern. There's a pattern, I guess, yeah. essentially. Is and the then thing. we don't ask too. I mean, we do, and if we do, we get or we just accept what we're told yeah. and move on to the next huge thing. But you right. know, going like. Okay, why would they do this? Why I think would they we're do now that? starting to ask more than we, yeah. we ever follow like, the money? Yeah, you know who's making all this money when like a celebrity dies? They get more, higher album sales than ever before. Maybe they saw Mac Miller like this is probably gonna be the, like why don't we do it now because you know she'll get bigger and we'll make more money off of this. Mm-hmm. You know because who's also losing in this whole streaming industry right now? The record labels aren't making shit for money right. like they used to. So now they're taking merch sales, live concert sales, and all this other shit. You're like, yeah. you're not, you're not doing anything with that. Why are you taking that kind of that? But anyway, so supposedly the whole next thing is like Post Malone is... Is next on the list? They say it just... Watch but, out for uh, Post Malone. <laughs> yeah. He gonna be dead He's soon. He's gonna be dead soon. Yeah. Probably from a Bud Light overdose. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking no, he looks a, like bro. shit. Yeah, he does. Are you 47 or 21? <laughs> no. Uh, we have a coworker that dressed up as Post Malone for Halloween. Oh. <laughs> he's so good on it. Oh, dude. really? Oh, yeah. That's funny. Because he's got like the hair and the beard. And oh, all. yeah. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> it's pretty <really> funny. <laughs> Showed me a picture. I was like, yeah, actually, dude, dude that looks good. Pretty, Post Malone, good. man. Yeah. <laughs> so I skimmed an article about marijuana. Okay. Yeah. They gave an example about Nathaniel Warner. He's a 31 year old loser from. <laughs> Rochester, Minnesota. That's not very nice reporting. Well, dude, he was like talking to see... Uh, Total nerd. Total fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, Stoner <his>, fashion time. <laughs> uh, he said in an interview to NBC, he's like, before I knew it, I was smoking every day. <laughs> he was saying that his short-term memory was starting to fray. He avoided talking to people and he avoided feelings of anxiety and depression. I don't see an escape from a 30 to 40 year cycle of going to work and coming home and getting high. He said, I don't know, dude. First off, it's like weed can definitely make you lazy Mm -hmm. if you let it. And so so that discipline that you Mm -hmm. have in your life, like be productive, do something right to fucking better yourself. Um, anyway, he was just like, we like, I don't know. He, it's also that pushing. What do they want us to see or yeah what do they want to show like oh weed's terrible for you like this guy they use him as an example and you know like this guy's 
gave us his in-depth story of how he dealt with depression. He's like, I just consumed weed all the time and this and that. And it was just covering it and masking it. I was like, well, maybe you have deeper rooted issues that you should fucking talk to. Exactly. About, exactly. You know? I don't think it's the weed. <laughs> right. Well, um, it is. That is. A, it is. the weed. I mean, it'll mask. It'll mask. But it is the weed because the weed. The thing is, like, I mean, obviously it has other problems, but like anything to excess every day, every single day, I don't That's true. think is yeah, good. Yeah, and I've definitely abused weed like Me that. Me too. You that, know? And I'm saying that from um, that same point. Right. It's like I've done that. I've woke, wake, I love wake and bake. Yeah. But then it's to a point where you keep on doing it even like, I mean, last week I said I was like two days off. Like I haven't done it for like nine days because right. I was just like I needed a little cleanse of it. Not because I That's don't true. love it. Just yeah. like because I want to like get that little thing back, that little jolt back rather than just right. sinking into comfort. It's like... TV or like an addiction. It's an addiction I guess to it's watching Gilmore Girls. To, yeah, it's like a, over it's an addiction to comfort. So it's like sinking into that after work. Okay, this is the time I get high, then sink into oblivion rather than okay, I need to go to you know. But but I mean, you, you can, can do both. You can. You can. I mean, <laughs> and you know that's that is self discipline. Yeah, you know. I think that's what I'll get high, but I need to go to the gym. Yeah, that's what do. bugged me about this article that it's like they didn't uh, portray that. And I don't get me wrong, I definitely think weed can be addicting. Uh, I've done it myself. Like I used to abuse it, and uh, ever since the CBD pen, dude, I've just been doing that. Like I'm mm-hmm. coasting. I feel good. Yeah, I feel I feel really good actually. Out of because um, I'm completely off of my blood li- uh, bloodline. <laughs> totally gone. I'm off my bloodline. Yeah, totally gone. No, my blood pressure medicine. Oh yeah, uh, nice. yeah. How long do you have left? <laughs> to live, to live. Yeah. I, don't know, I could die on the way home. Dies two days later. Stop <laughs> yeah, taking his blood. I had a stroke. Yeah. That'd be terrible. That's so fucked. Yeah. That's but how, how long have you been off of it for? For four days. Nice. Have you like gotten blood work done or like consulted somebody before doing that, or you just like felt better? So you're like, I don't need to do I it. I felt better, and then like I felt really good about the way I was doing it because I weaned off, like I said, um, and then I. Uh, sub, you know, I drink these herbal teas mm-hmm. to help with my uh, blood pressure. Gotcha. And also the CBD helps. And I do. Oh, because it's an anti-inflammatory. Right. And it kind of I, slows. I do check my blood pressure at home um, quite often, actually. And last time I got blood work done, I was just high in sugar. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. nice. So I've cut, that's awesome, man. I've definitely cut sugar down a lot. Yeah. Um. But I think it's about time I go in there again. Well, we've been doing this for what five months? Yeah. So, yeah, maybe next month I'll go in for another blood work. I actually just heard quite a f- like I heard I'm not gonna say names of people that I know on this medication. I can just tell people what they're on, what they're on without right. their yeah. consent. But I wonder how many people are on blood. What, what like what was it? Blood pressure. Blood pressure medicine. Bloodline. <laughs> <laughs> blood pressure medicine. All right. Um, I guess I should say, like, how many people? How many people on blood pressure medicine? Because I've, I've learned that, yeah, about 75 million American adults, 29% of people have it. One out of three adults. That's crazy. That That's crazy. fucking crazy. Yeah. And, and there's also, like, I learned, like, with the what else is, like, the, the side effects that ooh, some of these medications can give you. Um, shortness of breath is what I experienced. Uh-huh. Um, Lots. Of, I mean, like with any medicine, you're always running into the risk of. But it goes back into like it's it's a side note. It's a sidestep from um, you know depression or PTSD. But the thing is, there's not one cures all fix right you know i love cbd and I, i've been telling so many people about it like you need to get on this like my mom will use it for arthritis you know i'm trying to turn people on to like how it just makes you feel better but it's like right. it's also still not the cure-all like what are you eating are you sleeping or but but the fact that one out of three people have this like that's probably it's one little other thing in your brain you have to that you're kind of upset about or kind yeah. of on edge with or something that's not working properly inside of you yeah that's only another thing that's gonna kind of like help inflame all the other issues that you have you That's know true, it's yeah. that one small step at a time of like 
like what you're doing. It's like you've got to feel better for not taking blood pressure medicine. Right. So, but how did you achieve? And yeah, that? how much of that is placebo? Like, why am I just like? Yeah, that's true too. I mean, it could be, but I mean, you're doing yoga, you're eating better, right. maybe sleeping better. I don't. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy. Well, that's where I'm at. So I'm just going to continue using the CBD and my teas and that's I feel fine. I feel fine. That's I do. I, you know, I we cycle and mm-hmm. we got to get back out there, dude. You have to take that bike out soon. I know. I haven't gone in so long. Come on. I haven't man. gone back since the season. I've been pushing. Bike gang green, man. I've been pushing my run so hard. Good. That's yeah. good too. And lots of walks. With nokers? <laughs> Just fucking passed down he over there. He is, bro. I'm making everybody hooked on that CBD shit. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker's a fiend. He's got no choice. He's sneak. He's like <laughs> sinking into the couch like a little bitch. <laughs> he's like, I ain't even in this world, man. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Um, in Japan, a guy married a hologram. What? Yeah, for eight, And his wedding was $18,000. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Isn't that crazy? A hologram? Like, is this an actual... Is it, is it a software? So there, yeah. So is it's it like, like a her? Like, you know, the movie her? It's like dangerously close to it, but it's basically, it's like in his house and it's like this image is like, like wake up and then go to bed and like kind of talk to him certain times, but he can't take it with him. So we had like this doll version of it at his wedding to like put the ring on and shit. But basically it's like her, but not... It's like not that sophisticated. It's not a human. It's, it's not, not it's, there's no it's yes, not that it's not that sophi- sophisticated. It's either. not like I mean, an AI or anything. No, like either. her was I mean Scarlett Johansson talking so sweet and you know he is. I mean, sign me up, I would do it. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't need to see you. Even if she was <laughs> hoeing around with what it was like twenty thousand other people. <laughs> yeah. She's like you know. She's a nap on the phone. Yeah, even if she's a whore. <laughs> <laughs> she talks very nice to me. <laughs> she talks so, she treats me good. Ignorance is bliss, yeah. buddy. But, is that? There's but that too? That's the start. Man, I don't know if it really is. It is maybe, but I don't think it really is. I think I think there's a there's a thing in human nature for like searching for more. And I think the harder you push yourself and the more obstacles you hurdle over, like the more self-worth or the more like, I don't know. It's got, it's got to do something to the psyche or to the soul. You know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than just putting it on your blinders and just saying... There is no global warming. I <laughs> I consume more plastic because it's not happening. Like there's, I remember seeing it on Fox News like a year ago, like during um, what was it, Earth Day. They're like, it's a beautiful day outside. Open up all the windows and jack up your heater. Like, why? Jack like, up your heater? Like so, it's like it would basically you're turning on the heat and then it's cold. So it's like you're. Like working overtime for no reason. Like you're using a bunch of electricity. That sounds you know, yeah. Just because to be a dick, basically. <laughs> but there's fucking people doing that kind of shit, and you're like, what the fuck is wrong yeah. with you? I guess that's the infiltrators <laughs> spreading that propaganda. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Uh. Fucking people. But yeah, marrying a hologram. That's the start of the simulation, right? That's the kickoff. That's kind of scary. It's crazy that it's like that's happening. Over Why is that allowed? Why? I mean, who gives a shit? I, I guess, guess I, I guess really if he's care. not hurting anybody. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's hurting himself. Oh, that's Trying true. Trying to have sex maybe, with a hologram. Yeah, maybe he just... Uh, it's going to put my dick in here. <laughs> how does that work? How does this... How does the intimacy in bed... There's no way that it... I don't know. Yeah, I don't... Because I mean, it's not... It's a fucking no. hologram. But... Yeah, he that, has that, that motherfucker. He has that doll. He has... He's got to have that doll. Okay. You, you gotta, you're telling me that the guy married a hologram doesn't have a fucking and sex doll. And spent $18,000 If he doesn't, he has some fucking masturbation techniques that I need to fucking <laughs> learn. Because that guy's like... <laughs> Yo, fuck all of you. <laughs> Daddy knows what I'm he likes. I'm marrying myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just does a Louis C.K. in front of his wedding. <laughs> yeah. I'm using my pinky toes to masturbate. Oh, man. Fucking people. Fucking Ra- Rachel's in California. Did she see the fires flying over? No, I don't know. They were in Santa Clarita. Yeah, they went for with her sister um, to this advanced bionics. Mm-hmm. It's called. It's uh, she's got a cochlear implant. Yeah, and she lost her hearing when she was a baby, um, so she's had that since she was a baby. So they went to like do new fittings or studies on. Oh, nice. On a new, uh, new, 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 new cochlear implant, or I don't know if it's like 
newer technology or whatnot, you know. Trying to learn, I guess. Get, yeah. But, yeah. But they got a pretty sweet little vacation out of it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's cool there's people out there to help people or try to learn and try to, I guess, get it to the next level, even if they're using the technology for robots, but... <laughs> okay i love those those videos of like deaf kids like hearing their mom talk for the first time oh yeah or that one girl who what is she like mid-20s 30s and she hears the beatles for her first time and she just like starts crying one of my favorite those is one videos man they, the, they put the glasses on the little kid and oh. he sees like clearly yeah. for the first time and he sees his mom for the first time and you just see this big grin go on his face dude yeah, yeah. those videos get oh, me they too get you. they're like the animals in the forest fires it's crazy to think it like you know 100 no i don't know when bifocals were created you know like the, but there was years where people couldn't see worth shit <laughs> they just they dealt had, with but like, they had no idea yeah. too i mean and it's like it's our eyesight improved. So like maybe it was like a super blurry for a really long time. <laughs> and then people walking around like maybe right. Seeing all blurry. It's great. Like even my sister, my dad's so blind too. Like he can't see anything. Really? Like yeah, I'm putting on his glasses. I'm just like, what the fuck dude? What's wrong with you? Yeah. My well, sisters are, my sisters are a little bit different, but I'm just like, your yeah. eyes are all, like, it's crazy to think like just like I've, I have decent eyes, but... I do, too. Yeah, but um, just to think of, like, blurred... I mean, or sound, just not knowing sound. Yeah. Or... Woo! Thank you, Jeebus. People, people... <laughs> Thank you, Jeebus, for letting me have my senses. I think my body every morning. Body and soul, baby. I yeah. really do, as corny as it sounds. <laughs> yeah, no, I do, yeah. too. Be, be thankful for it, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts, because your ass is going to die, my ass is going to die. And we all going to die. And we all going to die. That's a good note to leave it on. <laughs> <laughs> and we fucking love you, though. But we do love so you. So you got to just appreciate what you have, man. Appreciate what you have. <laughs> Damn it. Every fucking time. <laughs>